<laughs> Shut up. What? I love it. You look fantastic. Well, thank you. As do you. Thank you. Do I look all right? I'm very fashionable. Yeah? Yes. Do I look like I'm going to court to defend myself? No. It's... No, I like the, the, the purple adds a little bit of flair. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. But, but music was not your first job. Music, music was not my first job. No. I started modeling when I was two, and I did my first commercial at three for Mo Shake and Bake. Modeling at two and a commercial at three. Let's take a look at the commercial. Check this out. Oh, gosh. <laughs> This is how you make shake and bake. What? Shake it all crazy, then it's crunchy and ready to eat. I shook and mom cooked. How about that? <laughs> shake and bake. Do you shake remember doing the commercial? I remember. I spit out a lot of chicken. <laughs> That's all I remember. All right, so you Favorite band of all time. Um, Zeppelin. Uh, the third's hard. You can't do the you can't do the third because then I because then you go Pink Floyd, Who, ACDC, Soundgarden, Oasis, Audio Slave, Nirvana, Bob Dylan. <laughs> you know it keeps going. So uh, and then a lot of a lot of blues. Honestly, you know Muddy Waters, Robert Johnson, and uh, it's very blues influence as well. So there's there's a lot of it's hard too hard to pick three. We were in Paris uh, playing touring in Paris and we <laughs> we got invited after our show to go see a private Guns N' Roses show um, which was awesome and then afterwards ended up hanging out with Axl Rose for the rest of the night and it was uh, definitely a night I went but probably one of the strangest was there was a uh, an article that said I burned my dog's balls <laughs> which <laughs> I don't have a male dog, I have a female dog, so, I mean, well, she's got balls, but not actual balls you can burn, so that is clearly uh, false. Maybe she, it was a male and you burn the balls and you just think it's a female, no? Yeah, you know, yeah. hey. But what about the penis? Exactly, Still she doesn't have out. a penis. <laughs> <laughs> she's a pretty, hey, her name, is, her name is Petal and she has a pretty little flower, okay, so. There you go, <laughs> all right, we'll take your word for that, too, we're not checking. <laughs> You know, I started writing songs at five years old, so I would consider myself a musician because it's the thing that I chose. It's the thing that I picked, and I've been acting since I was three, but I was put into it. You know, it's in, and I don't mind it. I enjoy it fine, but it's very much a job to me. You know, you're, you're playing a character. You're playing... It's not... I wouldn't call it a passion. You know, I would call it something I enjoy, but it's not even comparable to music for me, which is, you know, it's the thing that kind of kept me sane and... and saved my life in a lot of ways, you know, and, and kept me able to, to continue, you know. Um, and so, you know, hopefully, uh, for me at least, hopefully that this, you know, I'm happy that the records can finally come out, you know. I've been, and been like I said, writing since I was five, so to, but you can't put out a record when you're eight, but you can be in a film, you know. So it's something I've worked on, um, whereas I've worked on acting on different projects. I'm never, it's not self-expression, you're playing a character, it's... It's a job, you know. Jamie! Jamie, Taylor's calling. Jamie. Jamie! Hold on, we're missing our drummer. No big deal. The way music has turned recently and, and my generation has turned into such manufactured music. It's all, it's a product. It's not music anymore. What? People, that's what's great over here is that people want to hear music, whatever type of music it is, they, they are excited to see that show. They're excited to see what you have to bring to the table. and. We are trying and attempting to bring that back into the mainstream again of bringing rock and roll back. And when I say rock and roll or rock, I mean bringing freedom back into the world, back into people's minds, back into music. I love the 60s. I fucking worship them. And we need that revolution again to happen to where people want to hear real music and they want to fucking think again. We are trying to bring that back. I don't know if we're succeeding, but we are certainly fucking trying. You know, I can say that much.